Hey everyone. Hey there guys, Unofficial MCU here, I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have an update for Spider-Man's next spin-off movie as it will be unexpectedly dark. Considered to anything that we've recently seen in the MCU or with Marvel and regarding Spider-Man. Now in this video we're going to be taking a read from the Direct's article, I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as a read. According to Russell Crowe, the upcoming Sony Spider-Man universe film, Craven the Hunter, is going to be a dark adventure. This is something that we've talked about a little bit here on the channel off and on into the regards of a solo spin-off movie of Craven the Hunter. This isn't necessarily going to be set within the MCU, but rather into the Sony Spider-Man universe is what the word on the street is, so it would be lined up with the Morbius movie or both of the Venom movies. Although like we saw with Venom, there is a potential to see these characters, both Morbius and also have Kraven the Hunter, make their way to the MCU in the future of, you know, Tom Holland and his uh, kind of overall career with Spider-Man here as well. Now, Kraven is a villain fans have been wanting to see on screen for quite some time, and especially to get this, like, in his own solo film film, I think is a whole nother level of things, and a whole another level of awesomeness here for us uh, overall Spider-Man films and Marvel fans out there as well. At one point in time, back when Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures weren't agreeing with one another at a time, Tom Holland's third solo outing could have featured the highly requested villain, Kraven the Hunter, but of course, that never actually happened. Instead, Aaron Taylor Johnson was brought aboard to bring the villain to life in his own solo movie, one which will be darker than even its own stars thought. While recently speaking, Speaking with comic book resources, Craven the Hunter star Russell Crowe spoke about the tone of the movie. Crowe noted that while speaking with the film's director, J.C. Chandor, the filmmaker told him that the movie focuses on an unexpectedly dark world, saying that, from Russell Crowe in quote, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, but I know that we're going through another round of shooting soon. I've got a scene to do in a couple of weeks, I've talked to J.C. Chandor, the director, he's really excited about what he's got in front of him and really excited about the way people will receive it. I think I can sort of pass on that one of the things he said that it's just an unexpectedly dark world, ending that quote right there. And of course, as I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is something that's being anticipated and expected to be set within the Spider-Man universe of Sony, so alongside in the same universe that Morbius and both the Venom movies would be all also be taking place in as well. And also in a recent interview, Crow's Craven co-star Alessandro Navallo spoke about about how the movie has a complex psychology to draw off of for his performance, saying that in full quote, it had a really interesting complex complex psychology and personal history to draw on, and the movie has a time jump in it as well, so the character changes a lot from the way he is seen at the beginning of the film. It has and was as much of an acting opportunity as any other film I've done, and I didn't have to contend with wearing a spandex outfit or anything like that there as well, she says, ending that quote right there. Now, also speaking with comicbook.com last summer, Aaron Taylor Johnson himself, who's going to be portraying Craven the Hunter, clarified some previous comments about the movie, stating how the main character is a conservationist and a protector of the natural world. Of course, this is being an uh, overall uh, origin story for Craven the Hunter, and his origins are, of course, resigning in like a lot with nature and wanting to protect and, and, and to preserve it as much as his character can, of course. He says that in full quotes, I can't confirm any details or anything like that, and also, I guess that was probably a little taken out of context, and then run. I mean, I think you know what I meant. What I really stated was that he was a protector of the natural world. I said that he's a controversialist, which is a probably more accurate, and then should have stopped there. Full stop. Shouldn't have gone on beyond that. Ending the quote right there, he's not trying to reveal a lot about this overall movie or anything into the regards of the character that he's going to be playing, which is honestly quite funny to see in this interview. He keeps stopping himself, and then like can, kind of continuing on and then like stumbling over his words and everything like that. The article continues by saying that the actor went on to promise fans that the film would offer them the Craven audiences so want to see very much, saying that in full quotes from Aaron Johnson Taylor himself, you really got to understand. Yeah, he is a hunter and from that world of hunting and there's so many aspects. What I love about the character is he is humanizing his overall flaws, right? Craven is a beautiful character. Craven is a beautiful character because it's someone who's really understanding the 
herself and has flaws. This is a character that was built ages ago, and it's in a new time and era, but yeah, he is going to be the hunter that we all want to see. Yeah, absolutely. Ending that quote right there, he speaks a lot about, like, humanizing this overall character. Bringing him into live action is a whole other aspect, I think, for Craven the Hunter, because recently, at least, we've only seen this character on comic book pages and then, like, in these Cartoon Network animations. So giving him that, like, humanizing factor is a whole other level, and then also having him have his flaws and everything like that is something that kind of reminds me of, like, what the Joker movie was to a point. Of course, we all know that Joker is a bad guy, but that movie kind of makes him out to be a little bit of a good guy, so I think that we could maybe see something similar to this movie here as well. The article continues by reading that dark just as Craven should be. When it comes to a solo project focusing on Craven the Hunter, a darker tone is absolutely the right direction to go in. He's not a happy-go-lucky guy, and neither are any of the stories he's featured in necessarily. And so, in theory, without having to juggle Spider-Man himself, Sony has even more room to explore the darker corners of Craven's life, and to also feature him maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, with these other, like, Sony verse uh, Spider-Man villains, like Venom, like Morbius, as I had mentioned before, and then also to see those characters have that potential to make their way into, like, the MCU, and to face Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and even maybe other Spider-Man figures out there, like Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, or maybe even introducing a whole nother Spider-Man character out there, somebody that would be in the Sony-verse that would be a part of, like, the Venom-verse Morbius. The article reads that hopefully Aaron Taylor Johnson's film won't prevent Marvel Studios from using the character in the MCU if they want to, and that's something that I think that would be really cool. As I had mentioned, especially if it's the same variant of the Craven the Hunter that Aaron Taylor Johnson is playing, as we know, Aaron Taylor Johnson is also the same actor that had played Quicksilver in the Avengers Age of Ultron, so to see him kind of come back, except playing a whole totally different, unrelated character in the MCU, I think would make for something very interesting, especially as the MCU is in like this multiversal kind of era here right now, in the multiversal saga here, anything can really happen. Though, they'd likely have their own casting for the MCU, so it would be a tricky situation to a point. The character could provide the perfect foil to Holland's Peter Parker, especially where the character is on a personal level as well. As Aaron Taylor Johnson mentions, that this character has its flaws, and they are humanizing this character overall. Taylor Johnson previously had mentioned and teased all of the possibilities when it comes to his big villain going up against the webhead Spider-Man. So the actor himself is very aware of the audience's desire to see the duo face off, and it's something that he might potentially, fingers crossed, have some type of way to push that and want that to actually happen for Sony and for Marvel and for him to actually push that and make it more of a possibility for us Marvel fans out there. The odds of such a crossover happening likely depend on how successful this overall project is going to be, especially when Sony's recent live-action projects have been really quite iffy at best. The Craven the Hunter movie is being set to hit theaters this year on October 6th, as there. That is where the article concludes, and as I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have this article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Of course, I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you guys want to see with Craven the Hunter, him coming to the MCU? What do you guys want to see with with his overall Sony spin-off uh, solo movie here, and how that might connect to the other Sony verse type of Spider-Man? Man villains like Morbius and also like Venom. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Of course, this has been Unofficial MCU. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.